workers for Jesus. From turning tricks on the Sin City Strip to praising the Lord, we follow the former prostitutes who use the word of God to save other souls from selling their bodies. They call Las Vegas Sin City for many reasons, among them a notorious sex for sale industry that runs around the clock. But the former prostitutes you're about to meet now work the streets with a very different mission. And they hope their divine inspiration can help save others as well. As Neil Karlinski reports in our series, Faith Matters. Beneath the bright lights of Las Vegas, down there on that famous boulevard known as The Strip, a most unlikely group of women is doing something utterly contrary to the city's proud nickname, Sin City. You guys want to pray? Right now, God, I just ask that you use all of us as a tool, Lord, that you can help us spot some girls that, are, that need some help, Lord. It's midnight, and the women, specifically these two right here, are known as the Hookers for Jesus. You heard right. Jesus loves you. Along with a pair of volunteers from a nearby church, they're on the streets looking for prostitutes with one goal in mind, to save them. We keep our cameras at a distance as they hand out gift bags filled with Bibles. Hey girls, gifts for you. Take them, take them. Listen, I think you're beautiful. Thank you. And, uh, and I, was, I used to be a bad girl. So I just want to let, let you know that I used to live here, in, well, I was here in Vegas working and stuff. And I just want to let you know God loves you. As sales jobs go, selling religion to women of the night isn't for the faint of heart. But Annie Lobert isn't exactly your average missionary. I want to reach them. I, 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 I know what it's like to be where they are. I know what it's like to be with the pimp and not being able to come home because you don't have enough money. And, and Before just, she was a so-called you know. hooker for Jesus, Lobert was, to put it delicately, a hooker. Starting as a teenager, she sold her body through escort services, websites, and on the streets of Las Vegas for 11 years. What has made it possible for you to change your life so drastically? You know, God is what changed my life. From the pew of a church she now considers a second home, Lobert described the moment that her life changed. And one night I, I uh, was just so desperate. I was telling God I hated him. I hate you. Look what you did to my life. And I actually overdosed on cocaine. I had started smoking it at this point. Um, living in my car, um, just the very lowest point of my entire life. Just hitting rock bottom. And just, and I just, uh, I took a hit of it. I didn't mean to try to commit suicide, but it just kind of happened. And I had a heart attack. And I just remember um, everything turning black, just completely fading to black. And just this total emptiness. And uh, there was nobody there. And uh, I said, Jesus, please help me. I'm alone. Please help me. And my heart was just beating out of my chest. And she began to turn her life around and formed hookers for Jesus to help save other women and bring them into the church as well. But with God, come on, somebody. All things are possible. Pastor Benny Perez leads the only church in town that seemed to fit. What's a nice pastor like you doing with a flock like this? For me, um, this is what pastoring is about. I got up and I said in our church, I said, uh, we're going we're gonna, to you know, reach out and we're partnering with hookersforjesus.net. When I said hookers for Jesus, <laughs> I mean, the, the reaction is some people are like, did he just say hookers in church? And that was the beginning, I think, of our church having awareness. We're in Las Vegas. This is Sin City. It all sounds so easy. A beautiful former prostitute as a messenger for God, along with her spirited young pastor. The truth of how it all happens isn't so pretty. Sex for sale is an addiction. We sat down with a group of former prostitutes, some who left the life just weeks ago with help from Annie. What happened was um, my pimp had broke my jaw. And um, I was on my way to go back to him. This woman, who wants to be called Tammy, didn't want her face shown because she's still afraid of her pimp. She told us about the night she says Annie saved her. And she would call me from the payphone every 30 minutes all night. And then the next morning she came and got me. And we prayed and we talked and we got something to eat. And um, 
I was just really shocked and really surprised that here is someone that had been through what I've been through and did what I did. The world throws us away, and so we have nowhere to go. There is nothing like the peace that, that you get knowing that you had a creator and knowing that because of what you've done, it doesn't define the rest of your life. Leaving the game, as they call it, usually means taking up beating from a pimp and giving up all the money, clothes, and worldly possessions they have. This is the living quarters up here. To help, so, Pastor Perez uh, and his Washington church have donated and... this house as a first stop for prostitutes trying to escape their old lives. What is this house? Uh, well, it's a, it's a destiny house. We uh, are starting this house for girls to come out of the industry and as a place for them to actually run to get them here and then from here we can figure out what their next move is. Outside the house, Annie and the church are also there to help, but that doesn't mean life is easy. Your mommy's a good cook, huh? Stephanie, who we met on the streets yeah. looking for other prostitutes, lives in this tiny apartment with her three-year-old daughter and three-month-old son. If I didn't have Annie in the church behind me, you know, keeping me accountable, you know, telling me it's going to be okay and, you know, you're, you don't need to go back. I, I'd have went back a long time ago. A long time ago. Really? Yeah. It's that hard. It is. I'm tempted every day. I was tempted last night. You know, I've seen a couple guys, you know, walking by themselves, looking at me. I was like, ooh, he looked like he got some money. I went from making 1500 2000 you know, 2500 a day, you know, in just a few hours to making 850 an hour. Like that's what, like 50, 60 bucks a day? But I mean, it's, it's not worth going back. It's not worth losing the self-respect that I've gained from it. There's a lot of shame associated with being a prostitute. Um, you feel really dirty. You feel like someone's gonna find out. I kept my lifestyle very secretive. I never let my family know, my friends know, anything. <laughs> Afraid no more, on a recent Saturday night in church, the women must have thought this one of their stranger weekend escapades. And, just maybe, their most important. How many ever felt condemned? After all the men, beatings, and fear, this night was like a visit to another world. And that calling card of their old lives, the feeling of shame, was forgotten, at least for a while. Remember yeah, Tammy? Said, That's her with Pastor Perez. In Jesus' name, he's going to help you. Here comes the peace. Watch. Ready? The truth and the life. And I accept him right now. Do you think what you're doing now, is this your life's calling? Yes, absolutely. This is what I was meant to do. Here I am, worshiping you. They are still daughters. They are still sisters. They're human. They're real. They're not some rejected tramp or some rejected leper, leper that can't be loved. God, open our yes, eyes. Women of the night in from the street and looking for a second chance. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in Las Vegas. The Lord works in mysterious ways.